Swift Plumbers customer number 15029. This is video number two and you'll see in video number one we noticed a lot of scale in the pipe where it could use jetting but we also noticed a lot of soil. Uh, dirt came out of the pipe and up on the roof uh, from trying to cable it and whatnot. It is a broken pipe. Uh, what we would hope to do is replace the smallest amount as needed and then the jetter could take care of the rest of the pipe cleaning out the scale and descaling it from the clean out. Now right here is where we've got Rigid. the problem. You'll see my camera head is right there. It cannot go past this point. We're dead on. That's where the pipe is. See one foot below the cement. Now, this right here is the laundry drain line. We're going back this way. Uh, from under this floor, it's leading up to the kitchen. Now, what we've noticed from the kitchen vent stack, which is over this way, we have noticed that we can't go down there at all. When the laundry runs, though, it backs up into the kitchen. So, the problem is dirt is packed into this point where I've marked. We also can't get down that point. The problem is going to be past the kitchen right here. Because it's got to be where the kitchen and laundry hook into the line. So the clean out, these pipes are heading in the direction towards the other side of the home this way our clean out is on the opposite side of the home located out front to the left now the solution is to break this open and replace whatever pipe is needed to be replaced now you don't start, this is what we call upstream of the problem. This is going in this direction. So this, where we're blocked, this is the furthest point upstream that we can see we're blocked. There's standing water going back this way towards that laundry. But we're packed full here, so we know that this line is packed full of dirt or whatnot from here several feet over to here. Now my suggestion to start this job would be to go after that vent stack, go down below the ground to see where these two tie together in the downstream section, and then go as far as we need to go downstream and upstream until the pipe is structurally sound and the integrity of the pipe is not jeopardized. So that's the appropriate way to do that. Then, secondary once the initial problem is taken care of to prevent this from happening in the future, what we do at that point is use the jetter, clean out the lines, and see how it looks after that. If it looks good after that, and we find that we only had to replace a section, then, like in all likelihood, we can just maintain it, doing a maintenance jetter every year or two, uh, which is a much lower cost than initially jetting. I always describe that like when you go to the dentist and you get you haven't been there for a long time, they do a deep cleaning, it's painful, it costs more. <laughs> uh, but when you do maintenance jetting, it's like uh, just you're keeping up with everything so you don't have that big problem. So that, that's my suggestion. Number one, dig up. Number two, uh, descale jetting uh, and push jetting the secondary lines. And number three, maintain it and prevent this from happening in the future. Swift Plumbers, end of video number two for our video sewer drain line inspection.